right now, let's get out to Jonah Kaplan, who is live in North Minneapolis, and I suspect Jonah sweating it out, right? Well, you know, I said in the winter, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. I mean, look, it's hot, and the CDC recommending anyone outside drink eight ounces of water every 10 to 15 minutes. Well, we should be covered here. We're doing this, setting an example for all of us. Of course, there are some places, though, besides a pool, people find cooling off. In fact, there's even one place where summer is still just a six-letter word. Tell me you're in Minnesota without telling me this can be summer in Minnesota. Yes, it's 90 degrees outside, but we can do winter whenever we want. I like it in here. I've been here every summer since I can remember. Kate Rikas among the dozens of figure skaters at Parade Ice Garden and choosing to never put away the winter clothing. It's kind of suffocating out there sometimes. As much as I love, you know, the sunshine and all that, it's just like a breath of fresh air when you walk in here. Summer sunshine in Minnesota is fleeting, which is why 11-year-old Selma Howard offered her parents a game plan to beat the heat. Definitely to go to like a pool or a splash pad, something to like make sure that we're not hot and something that we're not just in the house. Mom and dad were all in, jumping right into the splash pad at Oak Hill Park. Just so the kids can just be able to see other kids and, you know, be able to, you know, see all the things that you can do outdoors because now that we're living in in the generation, everybody likes to do things all on their phone, inside, watching TVs and things like that. So this just, you know, gives the kids Keeping them active. More active things to do. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much really to think about. Again, staying hydrated, and that's different than getting drenched because just because maybe you're wet from being in the pool, that doesn't mean you're inside, you've got the fluids. Don't wait until you're thirsty to start drinking your water. If you're parched, it's already too late. You really need those fluids. So just be safe. You're going to be outside and enjoy. Aaron. All right. Good advice and lots of fun out there. Thank you, Jonah.